It's time, folks. It's time to finish this game and take on the final boss. Beyond this door is the final boss of Soleil. And here it is, Spirit Energy. I'm immediately going to equip the Dodo Bird. Because the first thing you have to do in order to damage this boss is to get its attention. You do that by hitting it with the Dodo Sword. Now, I'm going to switch to Dodo plus Lion. What that does is, you see his combination description says decrease enemy's HP. Now what that means is, it creates a fireball that sticks to the enemy and deals damage over a period of time. Kind of like the Sword of Disruption. The only problem with it is it doesn't work on very many bosses or major enemies in the game. But it works on this one! And that's kind of a little trick I did there. I'll explain it the next time I have to throw Dodo. So, okay, we are, we are raping him. See, I'll show you. The See, by using the Dodo... See, we open his eye. Well, I meant to use Dodo plus the Vaya, though, damn it. So I can't show you the, the thing, the, the little thing that I did. But I'll show you next time. Assuming there is a next time I don't just kill him out right now. So yeah, this Dodo plus Fire combination does a lot of damage to him, as you can see. He's almost dead. He doesn't even have another form. But yeah, let's use Dodo plus the Vaya. Okay, now watch this. Let's see if, you can be, if I can explain this now. See, I threw the... Oh. I'm gonna do it again. I really want to show you what I was doing. I throw the sword, and it pounces off him. Oh well, I guess I just have to damage him now. So what I was doing was, I was throwing the dodo sword past him, and as it went past him, it would cause his eye to open. But then, while it was past him, I switched to dodo plus fire, so that on the way back, it would also damage him. Does that make sense? It's kind of like a boomerang effect. I'll do the last hit with it. You'll see what I mean. See, I'm not using the fire sword now, but now that see it's past him, I switch to fire. I'm Dodo plus fire. So on the way back, damage. He's gone. And that's pretty much it. Quite possibly one of the easiest final bosses of video game history, if you know what you're doing. I must admit, it takes a while to figure out that you have to hit him with the Dodo sword. With, I mean, with the Dodo equipped. Because otherwise, you're just going to be, you're just going to, if you know what you're doing, then it's easy. If you don't know what you're doing, you're pretty much just going to keep trying every combination until you land on the right one. But what else can you do? So yeah, way back in the past now, the monster's going to be able to go back to their own world. So I'll be able to travel back to my world, except it'll be a present time with no monsters, and where monsters had never even existed. So let's see what's different. Instead of the fountain of a hero warrior, it's a fountain of a goddess. <laughs> cool. She is beautiful. No, I don't know the story. Mm. True words, my man. True words. Let's go home and see what's going on there. Do I still have a dog? Mm, I do! Cool. You notice I don't have a sword, I don't have a shield, I can't attack. I can jump, I can still jump, but I don't have any animal companions, and I actually can't even bring up the pause menu, and I gasp because of my dad. My dad is alive! Look at that! Isn't that so great? He didn't die in a war. Um, she can't find the dog. I guess I better go find him. Let's see what else is different about this town. Let's go to the castle. See how things have changed there. Yeah, I am taking care of myself, your large-eared majesty. Yeah, I know what the symbol is. It's the symbol of Soleil's the goddess statue. Silly. Because, of course, the symbol used to be the warrior statue, which, of course, was modeled after me. Hey, it's Amon! <laughs> the big jerky fighter! Ha ha ha. 
That's clever. Where could my dog be? Hmm. Maybe he's in the king's room hanging out with the king's dog. Oh yeah. There he is. Okay, can I still talk to the animals? No. Oh well. There we go. You know, now that the world is nice and peaceful and there's no war between humans and monsters, I think I'll take my dog for a walk. Doesn't that sound like a good idea? Nice peaceful walk. But before I do that, let's talk to a few more people around town. <laughs> Is that a toilet joke? Oh, there's going to be a park in the Refulsia Forest instead of a combat training school. That's cool. Look at all this niceness that's going on. Hey, it's Alice. Hey, Alice. Yeah, I'm absolutely sure. I'm going to take him for a walk. You have something to tell me? Oh, I know what you want to tell me. You want to tell me you love me. Oh. See you later. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the game. We have defeated the game. We have beaten Soleil. Life is awesome. Now all that's left to do is watch the closing credits and listen to that loud bang that I made when I accidentally just kicked something. I apologize for that. But I like this closing sequence. Because it's like... As you're taking your dog for Johnny for a walk, you get to meet up with all the animals from the game, all the animals companions that you made. There's Peng Guy. And if they're going in order, then I think CL will be next. Maybe they don't go in order. Hmm. Oh, yep, they do. There he is. The lion should be next, I think. Kind of a cool little closing sequence. For some reason it reminds me of the closing sequence of Mega Man 3. Whoa, whoa, and the cheetah. I forgot about the cheetah. <laughs> Look how fast he was. And there he is standing with another awesome cat-like companion, the lion. This is great. I wonder if their memories have been altered like everyone else's, or if they still have the memory of everything that happened like we do. I mean, we didn't seem to be able to talk to animals anymore. Hmm. There's the dodo bird and the butterfly. Where's the moa? Where's Leviathan? Wait a minute. You know, Leviathan was actually not an animal. He was a monster. So, we might not be seeing him. He might be in another world. Uh oh, who that? Oh, raccoon dog, you tricky little bugger. But yeah, um, it makes sense for Leviathan to not be there, I guess. But where's what's his, the one I just the other one I mentioned? Yeah, it was the moa bird. Oh well, who cares? And that should do it for that. That's that's the the end. It's the end of the end of Soleil. The end of my longest let's play yet. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it because I really enjoyed making it. And if if even one person got a tiny bit of enjoyment out of this, then that makes it all worthwhile. Even if no one liked it, then it was still worthwhile because I enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. But now, there's no rest for the wicked, so I shall be getting on to my next LP, which is going to be a Super Mario 3 ROM hack, getting back to my roots, as the game restarts itself and goes through its title gyrations again. But yeah, I'll see you next time on my next LP, whatever it may be, whenever it may be, and hope to see you there. Thank you very much for sticking through to the end with me on this, on all 33 episodes of this 
wonderful journey. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.